Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights. I'm here today for a kit up of my Josephine wall that's 260 colors. So this is the list, the, the list of the symbols and the, the amount of drills and their DMC code. So what I did, I watched a few videos so that I wasn't like completely lost um, about how I kind of wanted to do this. Also, because this Josephine wall painting was, it was pretty expensive, I didn't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of new storage. I don't know how long this, this painting is going to take me. This is kind of going to be a project that I'll be working while working on other paintings. So I ended up finding these containers on Amazon they were there's 54 small containers so they're in little packs of four they're um so yeah so 54 per container and five of these cost 15 dollars. so i will link them below but that is a pretty great deal because um here i have 280 slots available to put drills in now if you can see these are of course quite small and I think they can only hold around 600 drills. Um, I've kind of tested a few to see how much they can, six to 700 drills. Um, the good news is, at least for this painting, is that the majority of colors are definitely 600 or lower. There were about 20 that I counted that are a bit more than that. Oh, there's a little drill <laughs> gone on there. Um, there's there's a few and I could possibly do like a second container or a third container but some of these larger counts of drills are quite a lot more we're talking like 4,000 versus the few hundred that are most colors so what I wanted to do because I do want to keep as you can see these are all kitted up in bags with their DMC code um, on them and I want to keep the bag so that I can de-kit easily. Um, I do keep my spare drills just because they've come in handy so often. Um, okay, so um, what, what I'm thinking though with the ones that have a larger amount of drills is that I am going to keep the bag with the remaining drills that don't fit in the individual square. I'm not going to do like two or three or six or whatever I need. I'm just gonna do one per symbol on each container and then I am going to just keep the baggies that have the, the leftover drills that I can just refill my containers. I do that regularly with my containers with the really large colors and it works just fine, um, especially if there's only gonna be about probably 20 colors that will need refills and I think that I'll have enough drills in the meantime to to be working with. So, um. If that helped explain what I'm going to do. I definitely, um, let's see. So this does come with stickers, which um, is really nice. And these will fit just perfect on these containers. Um, so the guest had commented on my video suggesting that um, I group some of the symbols together. I guess she'd seen on other videos and I'm like that actually sounds brilliant um, I'm thinking with some of these like the letters I'm gonna put them together so that you know if I'm looking for a letter I know where the letters are and There's also some of these that have like U shapes that I'll put together some triangles like I'll put the triangles probably together um, and there's like the frowny face, that was my favorite one. <laughs> Don't know why, but it was, just was my favorite. We've got like the Pac-Man and I think there might be another one. Um, but as far as like the frowny face goes, there's a smiley face and there's also another one that just looks like eyes. So here's the smiley face. Um, I'm just thinking that I'm going to group these letters, numbers, and shapes. And then we'll have some other symbols and I'll kind of 
figure that out as I go. I'm gonna try to group them as similarly as possible. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start kitting this up in these containers and I will of course speed this process up and I will come back and let you know how long <laughs> this took me to kit up. So. <laughs>
friends, <laughs> this is me filming this after a couple days because I had to actually go back and refilm this part because um, I was so tired and I like, <laughs> when I watched the video part after the kidding up, I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I just, I'm gonna have to do this another day. So yes, I have switched my nails up by this time and yes, I will never do yellow again. I've told everyone in my family and friends to smack me upside the head the next time I think about doing yellow nails. <laughs> oh. So you'll get a small view of yellow nails. Um, anyway, so I did get these. What I ended up doing was it took me about an hour to organize the stickers um, in the containers. So I do want to say if you are using these containers, make sure they're all facing the right way. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually do that. So I had to take some time to take the stickers off and put them back on just because I had actually put them on um, on the side that doesn't open up. And of course you want to make sure that all of your symbols are the right way. So um, I ended up getting them all in here. I had about probably 20, I think it was 25 colors that I had left over in baggies, which is fine. Um, I will just get to those when I need them. And that's a small, easy bag to carry. The rest of my baggies I put in this KiwiCo box um, to save for de-kitting. Um, that should be fun <laughs> when we get there. So how I did this was I basically did like squares. I did writing utensils. Um, these are a random. I wasn't quite sure what to do. There's a ton of telephone camera. I thought computer, anything electronic computer, like messaging phone stuff I put together, um, that usually see. And then there was just two hourglasses that, I mean, I, I included that with this is like anything you'd find on your phone. So like your battery power or <laughs> times, I don't know. Anyway, that, that's kind of a little bit what it reminded me of. Um, then I did do the feet and hands for some reason. I just included the baby carriages with that. Flowers and this is elemental stuff. Um, I do have to say the reason that I'm really liking this because I have in the days between um, done some parts of the, the canvas what I've actually found was this symbol was not very clear on the canvas, but having all of these like symbols together helped me realize that this was the one that I needed. Um, I wasn't mistaking it. So I can definitely see that that's going to be a help when you have similar like symbols together, then you can actually be able to distinguish based on which ones you have, which one it is. If you're, if you're questioning, I had a, a burger and a cup. Um, I did the this is my people one. So I did the Pac-Mans and these are people with an eye, my frowny just there and smiley face. And then these are people. thought that was kind of like a girl in a dress. Um, I have cups here. I have apples, trees, and then this was all crosses that I had and bombs was kind of what I guess I decided those were if I can say that on the on YouTube you know okay so then here was where I did just arrows anything that had any sort of arrow in it I did it um this is kind of like cards so clover um spades I did the knives because I just remember that was together then this one was dots um unusual shapes that weren't necessarily anything and then like dots with lines through them um, so basically, yeah, I just know that. And then let's come over here. We've got house things, travel things. This was all circles. And then we had moons and music and keys. And then this one was where I had all my letters, numbers, and then this is all triangles and diamonds at the end. So just 
just triangles. So basically, um, because it took me so long to organize these, I remember putting them all together. I know where things go. Um, it's actually really been helpful and I can find them. Also, these are not huge, so you can shuffle through them really quick, be quick because they're see-through. You can see all of your symbols very quickly. So I definitely recommend these cases if you have a extremely large amount of different colored drills. Um, I will definitely link these um, in the description below because I think they are great. <laughs> so um, yeah, that is basically the gist of my kidding up. I have a quick clip where I will show you how I'm pulling up the 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 cover sheet to work on the canvas I've actually cut it at this point and I've made small sections so I will see you in that clip and okay so my camera is giving me my my tripod is giving me issues so hopefully this will work what I basically did was I used a ruler to pull up this if you can see this line I bent it back and folded it and then I also used a light pad and I was able to cut um, a square open for just this small part that I'm working on so that is what I am doing and I will update you guys when I get some progress done I've got a few drills and um, I did start with the frowny face drill because <laughs> I did. Anyway, I will see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.